Hi, Steve Schoen again from Paragus Northwoods Company up here in beautiful Ely, Minnesota. And we're home of the Boundary Waters Catalog. Today I want to talk to you about the different parts of a canoe. Right now I'm going to start out talking about gunnels. These are the long pieces of aluminum. They could be vinyl, they could be wood. Run along the top edges of the canoe, give the hull some rigidity, help to keep the structure intact. Thwarts go between gunnels, they also give the hull rigidity. These are aluminum, they could, again, could be wood. Go down to the end. A lot of canoes have a little carry handle here when you're just going short distances. An end cap on the very end to cover up the ends of the gunnels. In the stern, in our longer models, we have a foot brace. This allows the stern paddler to get a little something to brace against if you're going against the wind or into some big uh, waves. Middle of the boat, specialized thwart called the yoke. This is an ash wood yoke. You can put a variety of canoe pads on here, portage pads. These are ones we use on our, a lot of our rental canoes. The longer boats also have many of them sliding seats. This allows your bow paddler to sit a little forward or aft depending upon if, if they weigh a lot less than our stern paddler for instance. You can slide them up to help trim the canoe. If you're going into some waves or against the wind or whatever you want to move around, you don't have to just move gear around. You can use the sliding uh, bow seat feature. The ends of the canoes, there's an air tank, one in each end. This helps to add flotation to the canoe. In a foam core ultralight Kevlar, the foam is also flotation too. So you've got a, a couple things that'll help keep the boat afloat. I'm gonna flip this one over. This happens to be a rental, so it's scratched somewhat, but it shows you an internal skid plate. We have this in all our rentals and most of our new customers end up buying, or new boat customers end up buying an internal skid plate. It's a felt matte piece of Kevlar built right into the hull, doesn't add any thickness, it's, it doesn't make the boat any noisier. It's better abrasion resistance than the woven cloth. A real nice feature means you may not have to add an external skid plate off in the future. That's your basic uh, parts of the canoe, a skin coat boat. There's no gel coat on here. You're actually seeing the Kevlar cloth, the woven cloth. If you had a red canoe, green, blue, you can get that in these ultralights. It adds some weight. This is called a skin coat boat.